Um, so and another thing that I do is between, I ease it out, ease it in actually. So that means it's, it's slow in the beginning and it will speed up. Ease in pretty much means slow in. And that's the way things naturally fall where um, it gradually increases in speed as it goes down because it's, you know, accelerating due to gravity. So, um, see, and that's it. I generally don't, pretty, you know, add tweens between here because, I mean, you can, and you can play with it and see the different effects you get, but I, I generally don't, you don't really have to because the action occurs, it, it's really a snap, you know, and I think um, sometimes the, the tweens can slow things down, and then you actually have to go in and manipulate the tween to make it occur even faster. So, so this is how, you know, this is showing you um, how you can edit the easing that you that I set up. So basically, this means it's slowing. It goes slow and then it increases in speed. Okay. If it if it were this way, this means it's increasing in speed, slowing down, and increasing in speed. All right. So I want it to remain like this. And if I wanted to um, um, speed up faster, I just do this. See, so that means it's going to speed up. It's going to start accelerating even quicker. All right. See how it looks. See. You have to really play with it, you know. So, <clears throat> okay, I'll show you what I did with this. With the disc, what I did was uh, I had it rotate. And how do you do that? You go into tween. Whenever you tween an object, you have the option of um, rotating it if you want. Okay, and you can simply do that. So in other words, while it's it's moving from top to bottom, you can actually make it rotate by going on the tweening. You you first you click on the tween tween space, then you uh, go into properties on the tweening, on the easing. You will see rotate, and you can determine if it's auto clockwise, counterclockwise, and then how many times the object will rotate. I'll just put two. Alright, so I unsnap. So those look, see that? So it looks even, there you go. Now it spins while it rotates. Now, <clears throat> you'll see what I did here. So, the, just like what I did, just you know, demonstrated with this object, it falls. I'll hide it. Just, I always have a position. The first position is before it falls, okay? And then when it hits, and then hits, and then it settles, and then it goes up in the other direction, all right? So if you have something, um, I'll just draw it. If you have something falling, like, um, like the rectangular block, like this, and you have two sides, okay? Now, if it's if it falls where this side is closer, it's gonna fall like this, okay. And then the next action is this this side. So this side will go down first, then this side will go down second, okay. So this this will occur, and then afterwards, uh, shall I show how I'll create another layer so you, so you can see it. So basically, you have something like, um, if you have something like this, this side is going to touch first. So this, what, this is what would happen. First, that would happen. This is one. Then two, then this side is going to go down, right? So then it would be like this, right? But because of the action of this going down, it's going to force this end up. So this would be the third position. It would rise just like that. Okay, so this would be position three. This side would go up. And then when it falls, it's going to fall like this. See, and then this side is going to go down first. And then it's going to keep repeating itself. And then that will happen. And then, of course, that side, the other side is going to go up. Just like that. And that's what happens. And that's how you get that brrr kind of effect. All right? Like with the rectangular block, like this. That's how I do that. 
I have the object tilted. You have to have it tilt in the beginning because it looks awkward if it's just perfectly like this and then it falls. You actually have to have it tilted in the beginning so you know that this side will touch first, all right? And then it falls like this. I generally do it three times. You can, you know, for something that uh, takes a longer time, it's up to you how many times you want to do it. But this is pretty much the cycle that I use, all right? Where this side touches, then it then the evens out, then it forces this side to go up, then it comes down, and then it, it evens out, and then this side goes up, and it just repeats itself over and over again, all right? And I'll show you here before I uh, end this uh, tutorial. So let's show it using the block. So it goes down, see, levels out, the other side goes up, see that? That side was, the left was high before, now the right, then it falls. Now this is what I did, having it go up, I actually used ease out, right? means it slows as it goes to the end position. So it speeds up because it's, it's hitting the floor and then it slows down and then it will pause See, it pauses while it's in the air. That's what I did with the um, the little the, the ball. Where is it? Here you go. So with this one, you'll see it. It's a little different. I had it fall, touch, and it goes up really high. But what happens is I have it stay there. See, you see the, the two keyframes? I have it basically hold its position for a little bit because things generally pause um, in the air for you know like milliseconds and then it falls again back to that position All right and then it goes up again then it comes down then it goes up and notice each time it goes up it goes you know lower and lower so at first it goes really high then when it goes up again, it goes, you know, almost half the distance. Then the next time it goes like, you know, not that high. And then afterwards it just eventually settles. And I could have this continue on and on. So it could go, you know, it goes up and go brrrr. You determine how long you want it to eventually settle the rest. But that's basically the principle. All right. So you just have position one. Position two is almost hitting. Position three is hitting. Then it goes up. And it goes down, and that's it. And you can play around with the spacing between the frames and stuff like that. And that's it. So with all of them uh, there, it looks like this.